Okay, so I figured I would do a, um, a video on my CD collection, because why not? You get bored, you make YouTube videos, you have fun, why not? So I'll start from right to left, and my first one is Gajira, um, from Master Series. This is my first Gajira album, and it's the Digipack hard, non hardy cover thingy. What are they called? First ever Gajira album, and I'm always going to remember this, because um, when I bought this, I bought Rage, the video game, and as I was playing through Rage, where you could just kill things non-stop with no story, I'd put this on and have a fun time. So that, that's a good one. Good, great album, great album. Good band too, great band. Um, second one was Gajira, The Way of the Flesh. Very good album. Let's see that. Zoom out. Um, again, great album. Second Gajira album. I've got to get more, but eh, two is pretty good to have. Now, this is a this is the book ish of Testament's newest one, Dark Roots of the Earth. Great fresh album of last year. Very good fresh album of last year. Um, I wouldn't say it was the best fresh album. To me, I think that goes to Creators. Phantom Antichrist, but this was very, very, very close. This was actually a great album, one of the best. I didn't get to, I didn't get to hear Overkill's um, Thrash album last year, so I can't really make the biggest decision of what was the greatest Thrash album. But for me, it was Creator from, from what I heard, it was Creator. But this was still out there. This is a great one to get. New Testament, Dark Roots of the Earth. I guarantee you'll love it if you like Thrash. Um, now this is one that most people won't know: The Beards. Uh, you can show that. The Beards. Great band. Um, great Australian band. Very indie. Um, they sing about beards, if you haven't noticed. They're great to see live, and they've got bad um, beard in it. Um, they've got um, songs such as You Should Consider Having Sex with a Bearded Man. I wish I had a beard. <laughs> um, another one is Marduk, I have. The Serpent Sermon. Um, this is my first Marduk album. I did. I have known that they are black metal, and I do like black metal such as Immortal and um, Mayhem, Burzum. And um, these are good. I really like this black metal. And for some reason the CD remind is pretty much like the same as. I'm pretty sure it's the same. About the same. Somewhat the same as the Gazira one. You know, they both have the serpent, which is pretty cool. I remember when I first opened this, I was like, did I just get Gajira album? Did, did, did somebody slip the way of all flesh when I got this into it? I was wrong, but it just it just seemed like that. So, yeah. Um, next one is Nile. Nile's newest album that gets Sethu. This was actually my first Nile album, and after that, I I gotta get them. I gotta get more, but unlike every, um, unlike everybody else, when you go, when you're looking for a band and you're looking for like old, old albums, you just can't find it. You always find the new ones that you've already got. And if you do find the old ones, they're usually like 30 bucks and you're just like, fuck. But yeah, that's at the gates of Sethu, very Egyptian-ish, which I, and I actually love Egyptian mythology and all that. It was it was great for me. That's how I bought it. And that's why I love them. Um, the next one I have is Mastodon, Blood Mountain. Great. Great mass on album. Not my first. My first was Crack the Sky, which is that one. The first Mastodon album I bought, and I have to say that was fantastic. It it was just so very well done. Um, and I fell in love with them after I bought this. I fell in love. Birthday got Mastodon, some um, Blood Man, and the newest one, The Hunter, which was 2011. I think it came out. Which again is another great one. Um, I still think Crack the Sky is their best, but. The other, the, these two are up there, and I've heard the other one, the other ones, the, um, the whale one, which I can't remember the name, and there was one before it, which had, all I remember was the one of the songs had the T-Rex from Jurassic Park, but it was a good album, those, are, all their albums are great, but these three I think are the best. Alright, that's the next part, um, Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath, you, you, obviously to God, this is a masterpiece, because it, it's one of Sabbath's biggest masterpieces. Um, I think it came out in 76, 76, it came out, I don't see, alright, 1973 it came out, 1973, um, very, very good Black Sabbath album, um, I have the greatest hits of Black Sabbath, cause why not, 
I've got to get. I do want to get the greatest hits of Dio because um, Black Sabbath for Dio was awesome. If I can get that better light. Yeah, it's better. Um, and obviously the Black Sabbath biggest masterpiece of all time. Um, Black Sabbath is um, Paranoid. Fantastic to listen to. Brilliant album. And inside I had a cannibal cor cannabis corpse um, CD, which some friend of mine burnt for me because I like Cannibal Corpse. I don't have any of their albums, unfortunately, because as everything else, when you try to look for a band that you want the CDs from, you can't find them, which is bullshit, but there you go. Um, this is a Pantera original album, Five Pack. Cost 20 bucks, which is really good. It's got five albums. Five great Pantera albums. It's got Cowboys from Hell, which is a masterpiece. Vulgar Display of Power, another one. <laughs> um, the Great Southern Tranquil. Far Beyond Driven. And. I actually don't know, this is just as Pantera. But I, it's been a while since I've listened to these, and it was really good for 20 bucks. Five of their greatest albums. Uh, those those packs are definitely the ones to get if you can get them. The the five packs ones are brilliant. They've got Dream Theater ones. They've got um, I think Alice Cooper ones too. That'd be a good one to get. Yeah. Um, next one is Lamb of God's Resolution. I think like they came out last year, 2012. They Lamb of God played that live at Soundwave, which was a uh, I think it was mostly album. Good album. I I quite enjoyed. It. I think it's their best album. I really do. I, I I really like that album. Very good album. Um, next one is a Monomath, which is one of my favourite Vikingish bands ever. And the disc seems to fly out of place there, which is weird. Um, this is a special edition, which comes with the DVD of um, I think the first three albums of theirs that are played live, I believe. Uh, yeah. I haven't actually watched a DVD yet, which is blasphemous to say, I know, but I just haven't, I don't know, I just, I want to watch it alone, and it's very hard, like, on a big TV with a lot of surround sound, stuff like that, which is, it's hard, it's hard in my household at the moment, but I shall watch it, it's okay. Next one is Clutch, Robot Hive Exodus, which is their best album for me. I, I, I remember being on a website where people believe this was something about the Bible and how, like, deep it was, and it was a very deep album, very good album, great artwork too. Very good. Cl Clutch is great. Uh, I found Clutch when I was like year uh, year eleven, and I love them. They, they're great. And I share the birthday with uh, Neil Fallon, the lead singer, which makes me feel very happy inside. And then uh, the uh, next one on the pile is Jimi Hendrix live from Woodstock, because Jimi Hendrix at Woodstock was fantastic, and Woodstock is definitely something I suggest everybody to buy the the, the, um, the DVD documentary, which is fantastic. You know, you don't even have to be a hippie to enjoy Woodstock. You know. It's about love, peace, sex, and drugs. What what more could you what more could you want? And the next one is um, my Motorhead pile, as it is. Very big fan of Motorhead. Um, this is a two original set for I got, which has um, Overnight Sensations and Snake Bite Love. Two brilliant albums, obviously, because Motorhead they they just release good stuff. This was a five pack I got, well six pack actually. Um, for Motorhead albums, it, it has Overkill, Bomber, Ace of Spades, Iron Fist, Another Perfect Day, and No Sleep Till Hammersmith. Um, and they're all there. Bomber, I gave to a friend because I already bought Bomber um, years before here, yeah. which was about 10 bucks when I bought it, so what I, instead of having another copy around, which I could have kept, I just might have a friend who really wanted Bomber being a Motorhead fan as well, so I just gave him that one, and this one actually has like bonus tracks as well, which I think was great. Um, next Motorhead one is Kiss of Death, which I actually have a giant um, poster of it in my room, and great album obviously, pretty much every Motorhead album is brilliant. On Parole, I think that was the First one on Pro, the first album. Great stuff. Great stuff when you're out with friends drinking beer. That that's pretty much what Motorhead was made for. Like getting drunk with friends and just having a good time. 
Next one was 1916, which is I think was about World War One. Brilliant, brilliant album, I have to say. That was I think that's one of the, the, the different albums, the different Motorhead album, because it's different from what they were, but it, it's it's still brilliant at the same time. Uh, Motorhead's Motorizer. And Sacrifice, the penis vagina for Warpig there. Great, great albums. Um, I still need to get more. I want to get all of them. I have to. I definitely have to get Bastards and pretty much every other one in between. Bastards and Inferno, which I have heard, but I just you, you just need to have them. You know, fuck downloading them. Go out and buy them. It's better that way. And now for a complete change in music for some people, um, Meatloaf, a bat out of hell. I absolutely love Meatloaf. He's one of the best, I would say, opera singers ever. He's definitely up there with Joe Cocker as one of my favourite opera kick s singers. Great album. I would suggest anyone, ever, anyone, everyone to pick that up and give it a go. Uh, next one is The Doors. Um, best of The Doors. Because Jim Morrison was a god and he was great and he knew, he knew, he knew about life and he knew that life is your own tool. Great, great band. Great, great, great um, set list of songs too. 20 great songs that you will, if you're a fan, get it, you'll love it. And again, if you're a fan, you probably already have it, but there you go. Um, next one is Jimi Hendrix, The Electric Ladyland, which is pretty much a great album in itself. I think this was one of his first or second album he released, and it was just, it was a classic. And there's Hendrix there, been a god, as always. Another one I have is just the Super Groups for like, it was like $2, you know, comes with some really shitty paper thing. Yeah. It was a 70s super group because I love 70s super groups. Super groups. Yeah. I'm gonna get the 60s and 50s one too. I should get that. And it's got things like Chicago, Can't Heat, um, Detroit Emeralds, you know, all the great ones. And an Alice Cooper one as well because unfortunately nowadays they release just bunches instead of the whole um, CDs, which is still good to have bunches because it will have the songs that you like on there, but. Obviously, you just want the CDs at times, but until I find the CDs, I got Alice Cooper the Definitive. It's got my, one of my favorite songs, Billion Dollar Babies. Oh, such a good song. Alice Cooper is just a brilliant. And the next one I have is Willie Nelson's 12, 12 Classic Hits. It's about two dollars as well. You know, it's good because Willie Nelson's great. You know, he's an old guy that smokes a lot of pot, and he just has a great voice, and oh, he's awesome. And he was in the Highwaymen. You know, if you're in the Highwaymen, you're you're just brilliant. And the next one I have is um a Johnny Cash Willie Nelson double CD. And today I believe it's his birthday, so there you go. Happy birthday, Johnny Cash. Have a good one. If I had speed, I would actually take it for your respect, which I guess a lot of people would hate. But really, he like I think it was speed. You know, if he liked it, you know, if. And if there are, if people might not like it, but if there's a way to say, you know, good on ya, we respect you in this way, then respect him that way. Yeah, it is mad. Let's see that There you go. And, uh, Willie Nelson. I definitely gotta get the highway man he was in with, um, Chris Christopherson, Willie Nelson, Johnny Cash, and I can't remember the last one, but definitely gotta get more. Oh, yeah, the high, Johnny Cash did a highway man cover of the highway man, which is. Good song. I think it was better when the whole group, the Highwaymen, did it, but he, he did it greatly as well, you know. Fantastic album. Because Double Set CD, great. Right. 